Hello, hello, welcome, Monkey Nerd here with some Hearthstone. This time we are going to play a zoo deck, a mech zoo deck. Uh, I'm still low in the ranks, and zoo is probably how I've gotten through every low part of ELO ever. So, we will go through the deck list here. We have one power overwhelming, two abuse of sergeants, two clockwork gnomes, two cogmasters, two flame imps, one, two void walkers. One Dark Bomb, two Annoyed Drunts, two Direwolf Elvis, two Knife Jugglers, two Mech Warpers, two Nerubian Eggs, one Spider Tank, one Implosion, two Defender of Argus, two Pilot of Shredders, and two Doom Guards. So we will jump into a game here. And the, like, I recommend everybody have at least tried Zoo, especially novice players. It's not that expensive of a deck and it's it, it gets you used to minion trading something that is really good in this game and really important board control so we will take a look at a mage see I'm still level rank 20 usually I get I think my lowest rank is like 16 but still um I think we are going to I'm gonna keep this. I think the mech synergy here is just too good to pass up. And yeah, hey, this is good. He can fix anything. So next turn we will annoy a Tron. He's going to coin out unstable ghoul. We can get rid of that. It will cost us our guy though. It will indeed. But. Board control, guys. Board control. That was a pretty good turn one for him. The unstable goal. Another unstable goal. This does not look good. I'm gonna play the spider tank here and pass. Did I just log up there? I hope I didn't. It looked like it lined up. If it does, I'll fix it after this. I hope he didn't actually think he could do that. Okay, going to use the Dire Wolf Alpha. Everything on my board will die. Make it well no. I tap first, I'm gonna tap reverse. Okay. I'm gonna play Tower of Alpha. I'm gonna trade this into this. Everything that says my Tower of Alpha will die. But that's all of his. His unstable ghouls yawn. Two mana for him. Okay. This is a pretty good turn. We're going to Cog Master, Pilot, and Shredder. 2 3 and a 3 2, 5 mana. Pretty good. And he will respond with a Frostbolt. Uh, and Sorcerer's Apprentice. There's not many spells in this deck, but. It's a 3 2. 2 mana 3 2. Okay, what do I want him to have if this is a. I want him to have this if it's a mirror entity. And it is. Wonderful. We just don't want to kill it. Okay, we can play. No, no, we can't. Okay. We'll play the knife juggler and this. Yes, that is quite a bit on the board, but, you know, and we do want to trade this off pretty quickly because there's a chance that it could uh, knife into the Nerubian egg, and we don't want that. We do not want that. So, this may be the turn we do so. Let's tap first, see if we can get something better. Ooh, implosion. 
Okay, now we're gonna. Wait, we're gonna do it now, just so we don't. Just for nothing happens. Nothing too bad happens, I should say. Let me check on. Zeg is gonna. Oh. That's probably like the hardest counter to a zoo. Flame strike. Okay. We do have the win for next turn if he does not clear our entire board. Flame strike. Two, two. I kind of needed how much I can play. I can play all of this. Okay, I'll do this, then this, then this. GG. See, nine turn game. Not too bad. But I will uh, see you, and you in the next game. So I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay. So, Shaman. They're all. Wonderful hand. Wonderful hand. Um, I'm thinking about playing both of these. If he has no turn one, I probably will. Yeah, I'm going to. Just for next turn, I can play the Dire Wolf Alpha. Do two additional damage, so that will be seven damage on turn two. If it, if I can do it. I don't think he can clear both of these. He definitely can clear one of them if he has Earthshock. Blue Gill Warrior attacking to the 3-2. And we still are going to Dire Wolf Alpha. 3 damage instead of 7, but still damage. And some people would call this deck a control deck, some would call it an aggro deck because you're hitting face constantly. I personally would call it a control deck because you're trying to control the board and if you don't control the board, your minions aren't going to be able to do anything because they can't get through anything. Okay, I'm just going to clear that. Play this. Oh, let's tap. Oh, play this. Smack him in the face. And somebody messaged me. I, gotta, I just had to check that for a second, sorry. Stormforge decks attacking the 2 2. Probably. Murloc Raider. Gross. Is this a Murloc deck? Don't attack me in the face. I'll, I'll hit this concede button if you attack me in the face. Oh, thank god. I'm gonna win this, I don't want to concede. Okay, we will play this. Voidwalker. It's going pretty well so far. But you can see the strength in this deck, like, against that mage, that could have went, that was kind of iffy, but, yeah. Uh, this into this, and then this into this, and this into this, That's probably what he's going to do. Oh, he's going to attack my face. And then... Axe into two, three, two. Okay. I, I knew he was going to do that. That's pretty obvious. Okay, let's. I kind of think I want to do this. I'm going to do that. Four one ones. And this is really good for trading. So you have like Dire Wolf Alpha right here. These are two, 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 two ones right here. You just smack it into things, kill it, and then you have two more two ones in here. But he is playing really slow. 
but I'll have two two twos next turn, probably. And I'd rather have a two two than a three two with taunt, so and okay. So in nine, we'll have two fours, five six. Put the sample on your head. So, okay, then we'll get rid of one of his minions, but I don't think he can really deal with this, so I think we're good. He has four and then two, he can clear my taunts, but he can't do anything else with what his board is right now. So that's good. So he has three cards in his hand. Taunt will not save him, he must board clear. And clear my entire board at that. Lightning storm would kill me. And he does not have it. Taunt does not save you, buddy. Well played. He's gonna play it out. And I hope he does know he cannot win. Oh wait, he can. He can. One more turn. One more turn. Uh, um, hmm. Uh, I'm gonna tap for an uh, answer. And I don't get it. So I'm going to do this. Just. Okay. I cleared most of this board. I'm gonna do this. Instead, and do that just in case he has charge. So I ain't find message me there. I right. well played, and again. I will see you guys in the next game. Okay, got a rogue here. Watch your steps. Your soul shall be mine. Okay. This is a pretty good hand. So I'm going to keep this. So we got turn one, Cogmaster, turn two, Mech Warper. I wish that Night of Jello was a mech. A one cost mech, to be specific. Yeah, what you got? You wonder? Got nothing? Got nothing on me. Got nothing. Smack you in the face. Ooh, that's brutal. That's not that bad. Okay. I mean, obviously, he was going to do that. Okay, so we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do this. Just smack in the face, fast turn. Gotta get them dialects. Okay, play fear, play fear. If I knew he was going to play that, I would have played the Ruby and Egg. We're going to tap because I really don't want to play anything just with the Ruby and Egg. Alright, we're going to play another Knife Juggler here. Does he have another Dagger Poison? That would be terrible. I would be sad if he did. Okay. I'm getting through all of his like really good cards. Okay, what what all can I play? I can play I have five mana. I probably do this. I can 
The only like really bad thing about this deck is like I have no card draw at all. And that kind of sucks. And he can't do AoE right now because that would make it 4 4 and that would hurt him a lot. And single target, I still have things and creatures I can pump it up and get a 4 4. I can pump up my Nerubi and I can trade, get a 4 4. Anything with 3 health, I can kill. Here's the thing with three health. If he has nothing else to do, I'd probably attack my face and then weapon up. Oh, I was two free damage. I don't know why he didn't do it. Wait, so we're gonna get a four four guys. Yeah, I'll spawn right here. And do this in the right order. And we're not gonna overcommit too much so we're gonna keep the mech warper in our hand maybe I can get some quick value out of the mech warper if I keep it in my hand and getting like a, a pilot of shredder next turn or something playing this for two in the pilot of shredder five and then I get a tap in between I guess you get all that value preparation you gonna burst me this turn? Okay, he's gonna sprint. I have 9, 11, 12, 14 damage on the board. And then whatever I draw into. Deadly poison, probably on the 2-2. Two, two. He's probably thinking about it. Oh my face. My face works. This is gonna make him cry. Okay. I'd rather have that out, so I'm just gonna play that by itself. Set up with the mech warper. Actually, I could have played the Mech Warper as well, but... Okay, Tinker's Spark. Tinker's Sharp Sword Oil. Is this an Oil Evoke? And then... Then what are you gonna do? My face. Ooh, that hurts. Ooh, a 6 1 weapon on a 1 2 a taunt. That hurts. That hurts. Okay, guys, that will be all for this video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to the channel to see more. Uh, yeah, you can check out other things. All the links for everything will be in the description, like playlists and stuff. If you want to see more Hearthstone and other games I forgot what was in it but there will be playlists in the description for stuff I play regularly and I will see you guys in the next video goodbye